Assalamualaikum warahmatullah, dear parents, students, faculty, and staff, blessed Juma. Bismillah, assalatu salamu ala rasulillah, rabbi shrahli sadri wa isli amri wa halil uqdatan min lisani yaqahu kawli. I wanted to give you an update and some exciting news from Good Tree Academy about how we're trying to take Good Tree to the next level. Alhamdulillah, our faculty and staff in their departments together, we looked at various areas of the school and we decided that if there are just a few key areas that if we wanted to improve and if we could really focus on making those really good, that would make Good Tree a good school. That would continuously help us journey from a good to great school, inshallah. And I wanted to share those five key areas we've identified initially. And the first is teaching effectiveness. How effective is our teaching at Good Tree? teacher lesson planning to effective instruction, engaging the students, and managing the classroom. And if that is done really well, then the students are learning and thriving. Second is students' academic progress. That how are students doing compared to the national average? Looking at the MAP test score, for example, and seeing which students are falling behind planning the right interventions. And Alhamdulillah, we created a system where teachers are gathering data every quarter, every semester on students that are doing really well, you know, our A, A, B honor roll, or students that may be doing D or below that are falling behind and needing effective interventions. So the first one was teaching effectiveness. The second one was students' academic progress. And the third one's students' behavioral progress. The tarbiyah and behavior is such an important part of our faith and part of student learning. If our kids do not learn adab and akhlaq and behavior and we're not focusing on terbiya, then we're not gonna be able to develop these beautiful human beings. And Alhamdulillah, we've created our six core values that we've been communicating to you uh, over the last semester. And we created now a tracking system where we can actually track on various student behavior throughout the quarter so that behavior is reinforced and teachers can meet in their departments and see which students are falling behind and how do we do interventions to bring them up behaviorally. And the fourth thing is teacher support and growth. Teacher growth and support. Are our teachers doing really effective, meaningful professional development that brings them up in the areas that they need improvements? Are we onboarding our new teachers? And this is one of the areas that we've identified that with COVID and post-COVID, we are in, in a very unusual year. A lot of time leading substitutes. Are the substitutes trained? Making sure that our teachers, new teachers are onboarded, our substitutes are onboarded. And alhamdulillah, we are starting to create a system that everybody will be going through, inshallah, immediately identifying a key areas in the next 30 to 60 days. However, by the, by the beginning of next school year, having a proper onboarding for all our teachers and substitutes, inshallah. And continuously evaluating and seeing where can we support our teachers? The principal the f and the department chair started our evaluation of all our teachers. And we started working with one-to-one -one with teachers that are needing improvements in areas like teaching effectiveness or you know, student engagement or parent engagement. And that brings us to our fifth point. So the four so far has been teaching effectiveness, students' academic progress, students' behavioral progress, and the fourth was teacher support, teacher growth and support. And the fifth is parent communication and engagement because at the end of the day, the first school is our parents. They're the ones that are going to reinforce the values and reinforce that environment where students are going to thrive. And without their partnership, we're not gonna be able to succeed. So are our teachers communicating regularly, communicating effectively? Is there a standardized communication system? And areas that we're seeing gaps we're starting to address and starting to improve them. So alhamdulillah, we're really excited that we have at least identified these five areas where we feel that we have a lot of strength, but we also have many opportunities for growth. And we started, we're starting to work on those opportunities of growth right away with some short-term and then some long-term goals, inshallah. So we're excited to share this update with you. We want you to come along in that journey and continue to share your feedback on how are we doing you see we're falling behind in any of these areas, immediately email your child's teacher and meet with them and resolve any of these areas that we can make improvements on. And if the, if the, if the teacher is not able to address them, then you know, copy the principle and the next step, let's meet together and resolve it and make sure we give you the support you need and we give our kids the support they need to thrive at Good Tree. Inshallah, let's make Good Tree a good school 
Let's make Good Tree a great school together, inshallah. We're looking forward to continuing this journey, inshallah. Our re-enrollment process is, is, inshallah, almost about to conclude. Make sure that you're re-enrolled for the next school year. Our open house is scheduled on February 12th. Invite new families, friends in the community to come join us and stay in touch, inshallah. Let's work together. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.